Well, Hurricane Florence brought with it more than three feet of rain to some places, resulting in terrible, terrible flooding. Yeah, meteorologist Lance Blocker has a look back on one of the most powerful hurricanes to ever hit our region. The year was 2018, similar to our current hurricane season. Only five named storms had developed across the Atlantic with just one landfall through the midpoint of the season. However, a new tropical depression that formed on August 31st would make the 2018 season one to remember. Within 12 hours of formation, the depression strengthened into tropical storm Florence. Florence tracked west and became a major category four hurricane. On September 8th, the National Hurricane Center forecasted Florence to make landfall in the Carolinas as a powerful hurricane. For the first time ever, the governor's office ordered complete evacuations of all North Carolina barrier islands. Prior to landfall, however, conditions changed such that Florence slowed dramatically and weakened. Florence finally made landfall on September 14th near Wrightsville Beach around 8 a.m. with 90 mile per hour sustained winds. Over the next 12 hours, it only moved inland 65 miles, resulting in a continuous battering in high wind and torrential rainfall. Florence's visit to the Carolinas resulted in 44 tornadoes, widespread wind damage, and historic flooding. In Wilmington, power and water remained out for days. A Harris Teeter was able to briefly open, but closed shortly thereafter as 500 storm ravaged residents quickly cleared out their shelves. Flooding caused major issues across much of the state and in every coastal community. Unfortunately, this came as many local residents had only recently completed repairs from 2016's Hurricane Matthew. Ten more tropical storms and hurricanes would develop the remainder of the 2018 season and eventually cause over $50 billion in damage across the U.S., ranking it as the seventh most costly season on record. For CBS 17 News, I'm meteorologist Lance Blocker.